Tryon and Rutherford, Tim, now on the list of the numerous places with thick fog to start. Asheville, it's not so bad. Downtown Greenville, it's not so bad. But at least there's some fog almost everywhere. And we're down to quarter mile visibility in places like Tacoa and out toward Clemson. So that may be some of the worst of it. Rain has held off so far this morning. We haven't seen a whole lot of it yet, but there's obviously some major pockets of rain out in parts of Georgia just north of the city of Atlanta right now. Even a few rumbles of thunder and lightning strikes out that way. We will continue to monitor all this rain to the south and west. This major chunk way to the south, that's going to skirt down toward the Midlands and the coast. For us, we're going to watch this pocket near Atlanta that will come through this morning and then a few of these straggler showers out west. They may pop up this afternoon, but again, this isn't a completely soggy day. We're going to see these kind of waves of showers come through mid afternoon. A bit of a break. You might even see some sun peek through, but there will at least be some showers kind of straggling through the area until this evening, seven o'clock tonight, getting rid of the last of that rain before it almost completely clears in the late overnight. So here's your temperatures today. 50s and 40s right now. Fairly comfortable for a start in early March. Your afternoon gets to 64 degrees in the upstate. This isn't all that much warmer than it is right now, so only a couple degrees up by the afternoon with on and off showers and some dry time in between. Mountain Town's getting to 60 degrees today with spots of rain and maybe a peak of sun every now and then. So better rating today than yesterday, but still only a 5 out of 10 due to the fog now and the rain chance that lingers. Tomorrow's a much nicer day. Look at how it clears out. Even in the morning to midday, you could see plenty of sun Late afternoon clouds rebuild, but we're not expecting to see rain on Saturday, so you should have a good day to get outside. Sunday that changes. Showers start to develop around midday. They really take over in the afternoon, and we are looking at a soaker through Sunday evening. But as it all wraps up and starts to clear out on Monday, colder air moves in. We could see a little Tennessee border snow flurry. I don't anticipate any real major system here. It's just going to be a little taste of wintry weather there in the high peaks before it all clears out, and we all see some majorly cold temperatures as we get into the later days of next week. So 64 today with showers, 66 tomorrow with sun, then back to about 60 degrees on Sunday as that next round of rain develops. Next week, Monday dries out. It stays a little bit breezier and slightly cooler, but the plummeting temperatures really dip down Tuesday and Wednesday. It may not get out of the 30s and 40s around midweek before a rebound comes by Thursday. Well, now we want to get your riding forecast sponsored by Harley Davidson of Greenville. You want to ride this weekend. Saturday's your day to do it. It'll be milder and dry outside. Great riding conditions tomorrow. Sunday, the afternoon rain's going to get heavy, so I would tuck that bike into the garage. Mountain Town, same for you. Saturday, the best day to ride. Staying dry even with some sun. And then the heavy rain from midday onward Sunday means you need to wrap up that ride at least by late morning if you do plan to head out. It's 615. Chris